In this video, we'll talk about moving someone out of SiteLink. To do this, you'll go to Operations Move Out. Choose the particular tenant that you're moving out from. In the upper right hand corner, we have the move out date. It is suggested or preferred that you move someone out as of today's date. If you backdate a move out, you are going to affect historical reports. Your historical reports in terms of move ins and move outs and other numbers will change, so be aware of that. If there is a fee in the future and you don't want it to be owed, you can click to waive all fees. If for some reason you had a future admin fee, that would be an example. If you have future rent that's owed, it will automatically be deleted. You do not have to check this button if it's a future rent that's owed or charged. If someone is due for this month and they're moving out early, if you do not expect payment for the remainder of the month, you can click on prorate rent or recurring charges. Same thing goes in terms of a refund. If someone is prepaid for a future billing period, a future month, automatically they will be due a refund with SiteLink. If you want them to have a refund for the remainder of the time period, let's say their rent is due on the 1st, they've paid it from the 1st to the 31st, it's now the 27th, by default, SiteLink will not give a refund for this month. If you click the prorate button, it will give a refund from today until the 31st. If someone owes money, you can click to take a payment for the remaining charges. If they owe money and you're not going to receive a payment, you can click on mark remaining charges as bad debt. There's an exit survey that you can ask them why they're leaving. You can look at their notes. You can look at their ledger history. If a refund is due, you have different options in terms of returning that to that customer via a check or another payment method applying the refund to another unit if they have one, and leaving the refund on the account if you're not going to give them a refund. Click OK. If their address is changed, you can click Yes to change it. Do you want to commit this transaction? Yes. They have a remaining balance owed. Do we want to waive these remaining charges by writing them off as bad debt? That's a yes or no answer. In this case, I'm not going to waive them off. Do we want to print a move out receipt? Yes or no. Do we want to print out the ledger history and notes? Yes or no. And then the move out is successful.